Welcome, dear viewers. We appreciate your time and interest. Your presence brightens our virtual gathering, and your interaction enriches our dialogue. As we embark on this journey together, we invite you to engage with us. Hit that like button if you find value in our content. Share it with those who might benefit. Comment your thoughts and reflections. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on our latest releases. Without further ado, join us as we delve into the life of Abu Huraira Adausi Radi Allahu Anhu. Born in the region of Dawes, Abu Huraira's journey is nothing short of remarkable. His birth marked the beginning of a life that would leave an indelible stamp on Islamic history. Born into a modest family, Abu Huraira grew up in a socio-economic setting that was far from affluent. His early life was shaped by the simple and humble existence of his family. Despite the challenges they faced, the family's resilience and spirit remained unbroken. As a young man, Abu Huraira lived in the bustling city of Mecca. This city, a vibrant hub of trade and culture, was the heart of the Arabian Peninsula. Amidst the throngs of merchants, travelers and scholars, Abu Huraira honed his skills and nurtured his intellect. His keen mind was as sharp as the desert winds and his curiosity about the world was as vast as the Arabian sands. While Mecca was a city of material wealth and prosperity, it was also a place of deep spiritual emptiness. The societal norms and values were steeped in idolatry and tribalism, far removed from the teachings that would later illuminate Abu Huraira's life. Despite being surrounded by this, he remained a man of integrity and character, qualities that would later make him a beacon of Islamic teachings. His early life was a tapestry of experiences, a blend of challenges and triumphs, of learning and growth. But it was also a time of searching, of seeking something more profound, more meaningful. A yearning for spiritual fulfillment echoed in his heart, a call that would soon be answered. His life took a dramatic turn when he embraced Islam. Abu Huraira's heart found solace in the teachings of Islam. This profound transformation didn't happen overnight, but was the culmination of a journey of faith and conviction. Abu Huraira, originally named Abd al-Rahman ibn Sakhar, was born into the Dawes tribe in Yemen. His life took a turn when he met a man whose words would forever shape his destiny, the Prophet Muhammad. This meeting was no ordinary encounter. It was a turning point that would lead him down a path of deep faith and unwavering dedication to Islam. It was during the year of delegations, around seven years after the Hijra, when Abu Huraira embraced Islam. His conversion was not the result of coercion or compulsion, but rather a heartfelt acceptance of a faith that resonated with his innermost convictions. He was drawn to the Prophet's message of peace, unity and equality, ideals that were in stark contrast to the tribal divisions and social inequalities of the time. Following his conversion, Abu Huraira dedicated himself to learning about the faith. He spent much of his time in the company of the Prophet Muhammad, absorbing his teachings and wisdom. He became a diligent student of Islam, committing to memory the words of the Prophet, the Hadiths, which he would later pass on to future generations. His thirst for knowledge was insatiable and his dedication to preserving the teachings of Islam was unwavering. And so, Abu Huraira embarked on a journey of spiritual growth and intellectual enlightenment. His dedication to learning about Islam was not merely a personal pursuit, but a mission to spread the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. His commitment to this cause was so great that he often forewent his own needs, choosing to spend his time in the mosque, engrossed in the study of the faith. His dedication led him to become one of the most respected scholars in Islamic history. His name, Abu Huraira, which translates to father of the kitten, is not just a testament to his compassion and kindness, but also a symbol of his wisdom and knowledge that continues to enlighten the Muslim world today. Living in the company of Prophet Muhammad was transformative for Abu Huraira. Indeed, 
This period of his life was a crucible of growth, learning, and spiritual enlightenment. As a companion of the Prophet Muhammad, Abu Huraira was privy to the profound wisdom and teachings of Islam's final messenger. His role was not merely of a follower but a devoted disciple absorbing the teachings and embodying them in his daily life. His proximity to the Prophet allowed him to observe the practice of Islam in its purest form, directly from its source. This experience was instrumental in shaping his understanding and interpretation of the faith. During this period, Abu Huraira was also entrusted with the significant responsibility of narrating hadiths, the sayings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad. His keen memory and meticulous attention to detail made him an ideal vessel for this task. He narrated more than 5,000 hadiths, making him one of the most prolific narrators in Islamic history. These hadiths offer a window into the life and teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, illuminating aspects of his demeanor, his interactions with others, and his approach to various situations. They are a treasure trove of wisdom and guidance for Muslims and scholars worldwide. One such hadith that Abu Huraira narrated is, the most perfect believer in faith is the one who is best in moral character. This hadith underscores the importance of good character in Islam, a principle that Abu Huraira himself exemplified throughout his life. Abu Huraira's time with the Prophet Muhammad was a period of intense learning and personal growth. His dedication to absorbing and disseminating the teachings of the Prophet was unwavering. His dedication to learning and sharing knowledge was evident in his later life. His legacy is a testament to the transformative power of knowledge and the enduring impact of a life lived in the service of faith. Abu Huraira's later life was a testament to his commitment to Islam. After the Prophet Muhammad's departure from this world, Abu Huraira continued to be a beacon of knowledge and wisdom. He dedicated his life to preserving and propagating the teachings of Islam, taking on the role of a teacher and guide. Abu Huraira's home in Medina became a hub of learning. Scholars, students and seekers of knowledge would flock to him, eager to benefit from his wisdom. He was known for his keen memory and attention to detail, making him one of the most reliable sources of hadiths, the sayings and actions of the Prophet. His dedication to this cause resulted in him narrating more than 5,000 hadiths, a feat unmatched by any other companion of the Prophet. This dedication to teaching did not wane even as he aged. His passion for knowledge and his commitment to spreading it remained undeterred. His impact on Islamic scholarship was profound, establishing him as one of the most influential figures in Islamic history. Abu Huraira's journey on this earth came to an end in the year 679, yet his legacy continues to live on. His teachings serve as a guide for millions of Muslims around the world, his narrations a source of wisdom and understanding. His life is a testament to his unwavering faith, his dedication to the path of knowledge, and his love for the Prophet and Islam. Through his teachings, Abu Huraira continues to touch the lives of believers, encouraging them to seek knowledge, to live righteously, and to hold fast to their faith. His legacy is not confined to the pages of history, but continues to shape the lives of Muslims today. Abu Huraira left an indelible mark on Islamic scholarship with his teachings. His life serves as a reminder of the power of knowledge, the importance of dedication, and the transformative impact one individual can have on the world. His story is not just a tale from the past, but a guiding light for generations to come. The life of Abu Huraira, Adosi Radi Allahu Anhu, is a testament to the power of faith and dedication. His journey from humble beginnings to his conversion to Islam and ultimately, his life spent in close companionship with Prophet Muhammad paints a vivid picture of a life of unwavering devotion and commitment. Abu Huraira's early life was marked by hardship, but it was his resilience and determination that led him to embrace Islam. His conversion was not just a personal transformation, but also marked the beginning of his significant contributions to Islamic scholarship. Walking alongside Prophet Muhammad, 
Abu Huraira was an avid learner, absorbing the teachings and wisdom of the Prophet. His thirst for knowledge and his dedication to preserving the teachings of Islam left an indelible mark on Islamic scholarship. He became one of the most prolific narrators of hadiths, ensuring that the teachings of Prophet Muhammad were passed down through generations. In his later life, Abu Huraira continued to serve Islam, sharing his knowledge and wisdom with others. His legacy is profound, shaping the understanding and practice of Islam for centuries to come. His life serves as an example of the power of faith, the importance of knowledge, and the impact one individual can have when they dedicate their life to a higher purpose. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Abu Huraira. We hope you found it informative and inspiring.